Good morning, YouTube fam, and welcome to another episode of Fishing That. Yes, it is your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. All right, fam. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. All right, fam. We are back at the scene of the mega bluegills. This is the one where brother in law and Lawrence introduced me to, and we fished it a couple of weeks ago, and we caught like bluegill they were almost a pound in weight now that is the pond that we fished when i first pulled in i just went straight to that pond because it was the biggest and it was the only one i really saw bam check this out there's a small pond right here next to these cabins and next to the office and that's probably going to alert some of my locals to exactly where we are but that doesn't matter. Like I said, this is normally a catch and release pond, but for right now, until they continue to do uh, some maintenance, it's going to be a catch and release to the grease pond. All right, fella, so without further ado, I'm gonna pull out my small rod, if you will. And I don't know if y'all seen this video or not yet, but I fished this. I took the e-bike up to a local pond and I fished with the small rod and had a really good time and I was successful. So, all right, fam, without further ado, let's see what we got over here in this little pond with my little rod. Don't be ashamed of your little rod. Yeah, man. All right, fam, I think y'all already know the deal. If I catch a fish in here, it's gonna change the entire game plan. My game plan, I'll tell y'all about my game plan. Let's do this. Check it out, fam. I had the camera turned the wrong way. Y'all didn't get to see that beautiful hook set, I don't think. Fam, check them out. They're in there. They're not huge, but they're in there. I don't know if I told y'all this yet, but I went to the store last night my, uh, to Miller's, where I normally buy my worms, and I bought a container of crickets. I've never used crickets before. I don't know how to use crickets, but that's why I brought this little pole. I think I'm gonna put my cricket hook on here and uh, hopefully that gives me less room for error and we're gonna fish with crickets later on the day. I did not know that the crickets came in a container like uh, Slap Your Mama seasoning, Tony Satcher's, uh sugar, and it comes in one of those little round containers. And uh, I left them on the counter last night I got up this morning to make my coffee and I heard the chirping sound. I'm like, oh, we got a cricket in the house. 
it took me a couple of seconds to get back on point. Yeah, this old brain don't work like it used to. All right, fam, let's check this corner right here. Fam, before we get all serious and get set up over there on the big pond, let's sit up right over here by this tree and let's have a little fun. There's a few fish in there. That's almost a keeper. He's not, she's not thick, but uh, I think she's already spawned. But uh, I'm having fun. So let's set up over here and let's catch a few before we get out here on the big pond. <clears throat> all right, fam. We are back and we are set up, or almost set up. This is not, this was not my original game plan. Like I said, my original game plan was to come out here to the big pond, grab some of uh, the crickets and get those a shot. I watched a couple of videos on how to set them up, you know, put them through uh, the hook through their belly so they stay along, alive longer. I was gonna plan on trying all that. But then when I rode around and found this pond, I was like, oh, we gotta try this before we go any further. All right, fam, I'm gonna try not to get caught up in any of these bushes. Oh, there you go, baby. All right, all right, action. Stay with it. Mmm. I got a sneaky suspicion we already been robbed. I am going to fish the hell out of this little pond. I'm fishing every inch of this thing. Oh yeah. Y'all know how I feel about a highway robbery. I like it. Let that me know the fish are ready, they're active, and they are ready to go home with big roads. I will be keeping some fish today, not for myself, but uh, with Lady Red's friend, I usually give her fish occasionally, and she told me that she told uh, Lady Red that she's out of fish, so we can't let that happen. So we're going to hook her up at our earliest convenience, which might be today. Oh yeah, they are active. Stay with it. Put a ring on it. Uh. God dang it. Get committed, get committed. Get committed. Ah, you're a little small. I wouldn't want to give that away. I don't want the word out there. Roosevelt's catching and keeping little fish. Telling y'all right now, fam. This might be a lengthy video. Where's my paper? Forgot my rag again, but I did get some paper towel. Oh yeah. Right back over in that spot. Hmm. 
Oh, they are in here, y'all. They are in here. Somebody got robbed already. It's been a robbery. Oh, yeah. Alright fam, I think I can cast this all the way to the other side without. The reason that I'm not fishing up close today on this one, because that all, that carpet I call it, that undergrowth, that grass is all over the place. So I can't fish up close. Out further in the deeper, that's not a lot of that grass, or at least I have enough room to fish. So that's why I'm not fishing up close today. She'll go get my rod holder. Maybe not. I don't think they're going to give me time. Oh! Got to be careful about that. Alright. Shallow hook set. I really don't think I'm going to have time to work two poles. Oh, ho, ho. Boys are quick. They have too much robbery. Big man to be out of loot. I brought a box of uh, worms, a box of uh, red worms, and that container of uh, crickets. I got enough to get the job done, but they can't just be robbing, bro. Can't be robbing me of every worm. I need maybe one robbery, one catch. Let's get on rhythm, shall we, boys? Hmm. Work my way around. Here we go. Stay with it. Put a ring on it. Come on. Whoa! What the fudge was that? Man, I hope I caught that on camera. Whatever that is, that was not a small fish. Mm, God dang it! Whoa! God darn it, let's get back out there, y'all. Ooh, we might have to go ahead and try that cricket. Come on! Is it my hook? Oh, I should have had that. Back out, baby. Back out. 15 seconds. Just like in NASCAR. Oh, I had those tires changed and back out there in no time. Come on. What was that? There might be some big ones in this pond, y'all. Is that a freaking turtle chasing my barber? Ah, that ain't what we wanted. God dang turtle. Maybe that's what I saw, turtle head. Something came up making a lot of noise, y'all. Really, homeboy? Oh, no, you ain't getting away that easy. God darn it. Check it out, fam. All right, y'all know the routine. All right, fam, I don't know if I've shown y'all this before, but I use one container for my hooks, my weight, the whole nine yards. I usually fish with maybe one or two different size hooks. I use pretty much the same size weight. So why have all these separate compartments and these big old rigs? 
for fishing when I fish for one thing, pan fish, and I use the same equipment. So I just keep it real simple. All right, let's go. As soon as it hits the water, y'all. Ah. Come on. Stop it with the commitment issue. These are some pretty good fish that grabbing me. Just not hanging on. Let's see if I got rods. Man, I might move around to the other side where I don't have any obstruction overhead. But I'm gonna love this shade in about an hour, y'all. go come on god dang it Highway robbery. Y'all are starting to cost the bank. The insurance company is gonna drop my coverage if we keep this up. I can't keep getting robbed like this without some result. Alright. Y'all making this fun though. I ain't the type to give up. Mm out there come on boys there we go stay with it All right, let him eat let him eat let him eat god dang it Maybe an earlier hook set? That usually don't work for me. Mm. Alright. World's smallest fish? Or the smallest fish of the day? By the way, fam, I did a little survey. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to get you back to your mom. Come on, calm down. God dang it, you energetic little fella. I did a survey, and most of the people who responded said they do not mind me talking, doing the videos. That's what makes it different. I'm not the type to sit here and fish and don't say nothing. Even if I'm by myself and not record, I talk to myself. Or they say talk to the smartest person you know. <sighs> got that covered. Alright, I gotta pull a big one out of here. Come on. Let's try earlier hook set. Alright, alright. Told y'all this might be a long video. I don't know what part to cut out when you catch a fish like this. Alright fam, ABC worm already been chewed. Got it. 
looks like he got a little something, something with him. Is that gonna be a keeper? Ah, not quite. Ooh, that's close. Nope, no cigar. Tell you what, I like the early hook set when it works, cause they don't swallow the hook. Makes it easy to pull that hook out of their lips and move on with life. All right. Already been chewed, number three. Third time out. Third time to charm. Ah, missed it. God dang turtle. Get away from there. My lines all crinkle up. Probably a little weak, but I think this eight I think this is eight or ten pounds strong enough to keep bringing in these little small pan fish. Well, I, I should keep counting. That's probably about six fish I caught. There's no doubt if I stay long enough, I can catch 50, 100. Oh, yeah. What we got out there? Right in the middle, y'all. Come on. Not a hot spot. All right, all right. All right, they're closer to the edge, maybe? Or did somebody rob me as soon as it hit the water? Well, I'll be a monkey drunk. Am I too... Am I too deep? These are questions that must be asked. Don't want to hurt nobody. Get on down. All right, fam, less than a foot deep. See if that changes things. Ah, oh, yeah. That reminds me of a few comments I've gotten in the past of using those, I think, porcupine quills. I don't know if someone actually takes porcupine quills and makes barbers out of them. But they say they can react to the, uh, you'll see the bite quicker. Mm. Ah, must be a little one. Ah, he let go. Freaking turtle. All right, y'all need to slow down. Don't take him a word. I need results.
How am I gonna win the Bank Angler of the Year Award if I ain't catching no fish? There is no such thing, by the way, y'all. I made that up. Bank Angler of the Year. I like it, though. Tell your friends and family to vote for me. Hmm. Look black in the line there, y'all. Little fella. Yeah. Alright, fam. We're gonna have to get us about another I say half hour. If we don't whoa, these things are strong. If we don't uh catch anything significant in the next half hour, then we're gonna move over to the big pond. Matter of fact, we might make two videos out of this. We might make a video here on the small pond and then we'll set up and then we'll make a second video on the big pond. That way you're not stuck watching a two hour video. Cause I'm gonna give it all to you, baby. I don't know what part of this not to cut out. So I'm giving it all to you. Mm. Uh, yes, sir. Giving it all to you. What the? Did he kick it or did something go after him right there at the bank? That's interesting. That was a lot of noise just for that one little fish. That's very interesting. Did he kick it or did a big bass or something? Try to, that's probably just me wishful thinking. Got him. All right, don't you throw it. Making a lot of noise. All right. What's that? About number ten, y'all. We're gonna call it number ten. Man, I'm liking this. I like seeing that barber go down. But I do want to take a fish, a couple of maybe six, seven fish, maybe ten. To Lady Red's, uh, she's my friend as well. What we looking like? It's like that. Uh, come on, put a ring on. Act like you want it. Mm. Are you want it? Do you want it? You want it? You wanted it. You want it. Back to back, real liking y'all. May not have to edit this video at all. Just hit the go button. Back to back to back. Found a gold mine. Third time, ABC worm. Black out. A 
I should have brought a decoy, a marshmallow, or something that they can concentrate on and leave my barber alone. Oh, and by the way, fam, the reason I'm by myself today, and sometimes I will be fishing by myself, brother-in-law has something else to do or whatever, but right now he is home in either in Pennsylvania or Ohio. He's actually from the Pittsburgh area, but I think, I don't know if his grandbaby, his great-grandbaby was just born, his first great-grandbaby. So they are up there visiting, and they'll be back within a week. By the time this video drops, they'll be back. But that's why brother-in-law is absent, and he'll be absent in the next couple of videos. Mm. What we got? Take the slack out. Before it hit after that that freaking small bass he's a little too small to keep but man that's what i think been hitting nice buddy thank you whoa come here come here whoa you're trying to get back in the water ain't you let's take a picture come on let's take a little picture Booyah! nice yeah you were making all that noise Jeez. Jeez. Thank you, buddy. All right. Bam. Are we having fun or what? I tell you what. This would be an excellent place to bring the e-bike. I wouldn't have to move. I could just go from pond to pond on the e-bike. At least do my scouting. And then we set the RV up out here. Oh, yeah. I will be doing that. Without a doubt. That was up close and personal. Let me see what's up right here. I told y'all, you don't always have to cast a country mile. Kind of had to move it and boom. And actually, it was an accident. I was trying to get away from the turtle. Yeah, there's another one. And that freaking bass hit it. Yes, premature hook set. That is a thing. There's a pill for it. Sometimes I forget to take it. Goddamn, oh, goddamn turtle. All right, fam. I am loving this freaking spot. But we spent about an hour, hour and 15 minutes over here. We caught quite a few fish. We caught three keepers and probably 30 non-keepers. This is a good pond to come to if you just want to see that barber go down. 
and I got quite a few of those spots. But like I said, I got plenty of fish in the freezer, but I want to give uh, our friend fresh fish. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and close this video out and call it a wrap. And we're going to go, so y'all going to see me in the same outfit in two back-to-back -back video because I'm going to go ahead and bring this one in for a landing. And then we're going to start up again over on the big pond. So fam, I don't know what we're going to call this video, but we're going to call it a wrap for right now. So family, if y'all enjoyed this content, y'all know what to do. Give your boy a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And if you like what we're doing here, this and that, consider becoming a subscriber and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. It's your boy Rosie. Peace.